Hey guys, it's the end of October and I've owned the truck for about a year. In that time, we've done a few oil changes, diagnosed a few problems, but since I'm underneath the truck and we're about to change the oil again before winter comes around, I figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff that's going on and which of the repairs is holding up and also what we got to do when we change the oil down here. All right, so first thing first, y'all remember I had that gas line burst. Well, it looks like my fix is holding up pretty well. I don't see any signs of gasoline leaking down here where we mended that line. And those those clamps seem to be holding that together pretty well. There's no sign of gasoline dripping. So if we come around down here, sorry, it's kind of tight quarters. One of the things you're gonna see is that oil drain plug that we replaced with a new one. Now this, still has the hole in the threads of the oil pan itself. So we're gonna have to put a little bit of Loctite or some gasket seal and a new crush gasket on here to keep it holding. But you can see there is some oil dripping right there. That is coming out of that drain plug where the holes in the thread are. Let me go ahead and drop this oil and we'll show you guys. All right, I already got it finger, finger tight, so let's go ahead and get it. And that's about to come on down. There we go. It's squirting out. God. All right, I'm not sure that's in focus, but you can see some of that original gasket seal we used the first time is still sitting there dangling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up and try to get it as dry as possible before I put the new one on there yeah just so y'all can see what I'm talking about it is a shame but indeed this oil pan has a hole in the threads right there and that is what is causing the main oil leak so eventually I'd like to replace this oil pan but all sorts of suspension components got it dropped and it's a it's a labor-intensive job so for now the workaround is we're just gonna use some gasket sealant or flange sealant when we change the oil on the new crush gasket. Now guys, because we got that hole in the threads on the oil pan, we got to run the new crush gasket on the drain plug with a little bit of flange sealant. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now, get that set up. really just putting this on here so that it seals up tight to the oil pan so that it doesn't drip out of that hole that's in the threads. And the key is going to be to get that surface of the oil pan as dry as we can even though that thing is down there dripping oil still. It's pretty hard to do that with one hand and show it because I wanted to keep it as dry as possible right before I screwed it on there. But I think you guys can see from that picture a little bit of that red, red flange sealant coming through. And hopefully that holds just as good as the last one did. It was still leaking a bit of oil from the drain plug through the, the hole in those threads. But by and large, this workaround seemed to keep it sealed up pretty good. So we're going to run with this for the time being. All right, I just pulled the truck over to flat ground. After getting the oil to where I was getting a reading on the dipstick, but the, in, the way I had the truck, it was parked on a slant. So it read really low on the dipstick, but there, I knew there was enough in there. And so we're just gonna let it idle for a second to fill up that new oil filter. And then we're gonna get a reading on the dipstick, see if I need to add maybe another half a quart or something. I don't know, we'll see what the dipstick says, but I know there's enough in there now for it to idle. I don't know if you can see that, but the, the dipstick's reading a little on the low end. 
It's still safe here, but I'm going to go ahead and top it off, get it closer to full. All right, I filled it up just above halfway, and I'm not going to go ahead and top it off for now because I'm kind of interested to see if I'm going to park it for a few days, if we're dripping any oil out of the drain plug or out of the oil filter. So there's the level for now, and we're going to come back to it real soon. Then I'll come back to this video and take a look and make sure we're not dripping too much. All right, so for the last part of this video, I just want to make a record of how many miles I'm at when I change the oil. We're at about 161,500 miles. 